So in this video I'm going to show you how to use a simple squash and stretch technique that will bring more life to your animation. Um, it's one of the principles that have been used in every animation since 1940s and it's really important to show that an object has weight and it's uh, more realistic. So in this video I've set out three keyframes for this ball. So one at the start when it's at the top, one when it's touching the actual floor and another one again when it's rising up okay and they just show that the ball is bouncing but at the minute it doesn't look really lifelike so we're going to change that so what we want to do is when the ball hits the floor we want it to squash down like if it was a rubber ball or a football so what we're going to do is we're going to come to this keyframe again and we're going to squash the ball down just by hitting R going into our skate tool and grabbing the green Y direction and squashing it down. You notice when we're squashing it down though that it is leaving the floor so when we're happy about how much it is squashed we're just going to press W and move it again so it's hitting the floor and then press S to key that in. Okay, We've got to make sure that it is keyed in uh, although we have a red line here it won't show us that there's a new red line or anything so you'll get a result 10 down by your script editor if you don't see that, just go animate, set key. Okay. Now, if we play this back, we'll see that the ball is squashing in some way. But you'll see that it's starting to squash even before it's hitting the floor, which is a bit of an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to frame six. Okay. And as this ball is coming down, it would actually elongate, so it would get longer. So at frame six, I'm going to press R and stretch it out. Okay, and I'm going to move it down slightly so it's hitting the floor and then press S. And we'll see now as the ball moves down it starts to get longer, hits the floor, squashes and then comes back up. What we want to do at frame 13 is actually make it a bit longer again so it's elongating press S and then we'll play through it. And we can see now that the ball is moving up and down but it's squashing and stretching as it's doing so like it would in real life. 